Welcome to the beautiful journey of your pregnancy. If you believe that it is a 9 month journey, you're wrong. Contrary to normal belief, pregnancy lasts not 9 months but 10 months. It is an experience of 280 days or 40 weeks divided into 3 parts. Now here's a fun fact. The longest known pregnancy lasted for a year and 10 days. Yes, you can google this. There are three trimesters in pregnancy basically, each of which may show different physiological changes and symptoms. Each trimester lasts about 13 weeks. The first trimester is 1 to 13 weeks. The second trimester begins on the 14th week and lasts up to 27 weeks. The third trimester 28 weeks and goes up to 40 weeks or until birth. The first 3 weeks of your pregnancy goes without announcing itself to you. You may feel fatigue, which is unusual tiredness, letharginess, mood swings or breast soreness. Yes, the emotional and physical changes start from the first week itself, or maybe you won't feel anything till you miss the dates. You may also have increased vaginal discharge. Here's another fun fact. Your partner too may experience pregnancy symptoms. This is called sympathetic pregnancy. He may feel the preg- pregnancy sy- symptoms as well like morning sickness, food cravings, etc. Now what is actually happening to your baby in these weeks? During the intercourse, 2 to 5 ml of semen is deposited in the vagina and each ml contains an average of 70 million sperms out of which only 200 reach the uterus. and only one of which fertilizes your egg the father's sperm fertilizes the mother's egg in the fallopian tube and a single cell then divides into a ball of cells called a zygote fertilized ovum and zygote take about 5 to 7 days before it reaches the uterine cavity the site of implantation after 4 days a group of cells is formed which is called a marula It further divides or becomes a blastocyst in a week's time. It further divides into an outer layer which forms the placenta, an amniotic sac and an inner layer which becomes an embryo. It starts multiplying there and the journey begins for you and for your baby. Second month. Your tiny embryo has a head end and a tail end. At this stage the head can be distinguished clearly from the body it is taking oxygen from the developing placenta and the bag of membranes which is also developing the baby's heart is formed and has begun to beat and pump blood the heart is already divided into chambers and will find a regular rhythm soon a fun fact for you your heart grows too the liver develops before the rest of the digestive system of the baby and most organs are developing now the embryo itself is about a quarter of an inch half as or half a centimeter long and looks more like a tadpole it will undergo a growth spurt this week right now it is no bigger than a rice seed the embryo has a curved back like a letter c third month your baby weighs 8 to 14 grams and is 6 to 7 centimeters long Your baby's face is beginning to look more human. Now you will be able to hear your baby's heartbeats with a Doppler. The fetus already can feel you. If you prod your abdomen and it squirms on touch of the abdomen, although you cannot yet feel the movement. The baby's genitals do have started forming, but you cannot identify the sex of the baby yet. Unfortunately, you will have to wait for at least 11 more weeks before you can get a chance to know what baby you will have. By now the placenta has developed enough to support most of the critical jobs of the producing hormones. Fourth month, your baby is now about the size of an avocado, about 5 inches, 11.6 cm long from crown to rump and weighing approximately 4 ounces or about 100 grams. In the next 3 to 4 weeks, he'll go through a tremendous growth spurt. so much so that his weight will double and the length will also increase though not to the same degree as the weight fingernails are well formed he is inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid through his lungs 
now your baby looks more human can hold her head straight up yawn and even suck her thumb fifth month your baby is thin and delicate her eyes look big and move from side to side eyelids are still closed though she has more hair on her head and eyelashes and eyebrows are taking shape your baby's nervous system is fully developed because of which the movements are very coordinated now and she can grasp firmly and can roll and turn here's another fun fact your uterus can grow up to 500 times its original size during pregnancy isn't that good to know sixth month your baby's face looks much as it will after she's born eyes are still closed with eyelashes and eyebrows too the hair on the head increases in volume and one can also distinguish the color of the hair now you may also feel tiny rhythmic movement in your abdomen which may signal that your baby has hiccups he is also responding much more to touch and sounds your fetus weighs more than 1.3 pounds or up to about 6- 600 grams though he still has little body fat and his skin is thin and fragile he is now well proportioned his brain is growing rapidly and his brain waves show that he is almost as active as a newborn baby he is starting to fill the space in your uterus from crown to heel he could measure 11.8 inches or up to about 30 cm 7th month you are in the home stretch the third trimester typically starts at week 29 and lasts until week 40 and sometimes even beyond don't worry 42 weeks is generally the maximum after that a woman usually is induced to give birth by this week your baby weighs nearly 2.3 pounds a little over 1 kg and may measure 14.8 inches or up to 38 cm from top to toe it has doubled its weight in the last 4 weeks the brain has started forming the characteristic grooves and indentations the amount of brain tissue is also increasing the hair on the head is growing longer but the lanugo has started disappearing and remains in patches near the neck and shoulders skin is damp and shiny and covered in vernix now your baby has a little smaller space to move about and makes your bulge heave and bulge she may also respond to the chemicals and hormones from your body which enters the blood stream via the placenta and the umbilical cord 8 month your baby looks like a smaller version of a full term baby but is still very delicate a few creases are seen now with the fat is being deposited as in the thighs and the arms the hair on the head continues to grow long and there might still be light covering of soft lanugo across the back of her shoulders by now most of the babies are head down but there are many who will still turn around your baby now weighs about 4.2 pounds or about 2 kg and measures approximately 17 inches or 44 cm from head to toe your baby's skull is still quite pliable and not only completely joined in part so he can ease out of the relatively narrow birth canal but the bones in the rest of the body are also hardening your baby skin is also gradually becoming less red and wrinkled here's a fun fact babies can taste the food that their mothers eat in the womb so if you really want your baby to carry some good food habits start eating that food at this point of time ninth month the average baby is about 20 inches or about 50 cm long from head to toe and weighs approximately 7 to 8 pounds or 3.5 kg at birth your baby has now started shedding off his vernix and the once clear amniotic fluid starts becoming cloudy it is not only the vernix which is being shed but also the skin as the new skin starts getting formed your baby's appearance will not change drastically now and he's just a smaller version of what he will look like after birth your baby's body is now well rounded with a healthy covering of fat skin is smooth still with areas of vernix toenails have reached the end of his toes the amount of hair he has may vary he could be completely bald have a few downy patches or have a full head of hair the color of the hair may vary during the first few weeks after he's born 
If your baby has developed a pattern of sleep wake cycle, it may continue after the birth. When you go to bed, play some calm music and talk to him gently. If he is active at some particular time before the birth, you can anticipate this after the birth too. Your baby is curled up right now, warm and secure, and that is what he will prefer when he is out too. If he was in the breech position in the womb, his knees may remain drawn up to his chest for a couple of days. Some babies are born with one of both feet turned in because that is how it was in the womb. This is temporary and will straighten up in a few weeks. Now your baby does not have much place to move. So he squirms and pushes and can also make sucking actions. The movement should still be at least 10 times per day. And if it is lesser than this, you must consult your doctor now. In this video, you have seen the marathon path in a nutshell. Watch for videos explaining in smaller and detailed bites. In case you want us to cover some topic about the baby, about pregnancy, about parenting, about toddlers, anything, please comment and let us know in the comment section. We will get those videos out as fast as we can and we are following your comments. So please feel free to write to us and let us know your thought process. We have interchanged him and her because regardless of the gender of the baby, what we really wanted to capture was the, was the pregnancy journey, the beautiful pregnancy journey. Stay tuned for more videos and if you do like our video, do not forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you can know when we are coming out with all our new videos. Looking forward to reaching out to you with our next video. Bye.